The greatest threat to the ancient Sphinx is modern Cairo. 20 million people crammed right up to its pores. The Sphinx is almost in downtown Cairo. People think that the pyramids and the Sphinx are in the desert. They're not in the desert. We are surrounded only about 45 feet away from the Sphinx. You can see houses. Most of the houses have no sewage system. Instead, that refuse gets dumped daily into a nearby canal and is seeping toward the Sphinx. When the water rises, it comes here. And that water is polluted. It is not clean. This is the dangerous water. To assess how bad the situation is, geologists have drilled a series of 70-foot holes around the Sphinx to take a deeper look. We are measuring the water level every 30 minutes. So every week we collect this data to draw the, what is the water level behavior underneath the Sphinx. The measurements confirm their worst fears. The water table is indeed rising, more than a meter in the past few years alone. And water is only the start of the Sphinx's problems. Past restorations coated the Sphinx in cement, actually causing more harm than good. When you put cement in the statue, cement causes cancer. The Sphinx had cancer, it's true, because the cement eats in the body of the Sphinx. To fight for the Sphinx's life, Zahi Hawass has assembled an Egyptian team of experts. Geologists and masons mix a limestone mortar to replace the toxic cement from past restorations. This very clean mortar, without any salt, and this is very important for the coating for the storm. It forms a harmless protective skin that prevents further flaking and erosion. And Hawass is keeping traffic and the negative effects of tourism at bay. I built a wall around the whole Giza Plateau to protect the Sphinx. And in a few months from now, no one will be able to see any buses or cars in the plateau. But the biggest threat to the Sphinx remains the rising water table and sewage. Hydrologists recently installed a system of high pressure pumps, reaching 40 meters below the surface, filtering the sewage through the sand and discharging about 25 cubic meters of clean water every hour. The water is redirected into the Cairo sewage system. The effect on the water table under the Sphinx is dramatic. In the past year, it has dropped one and a half meters. For now, the Sphinx is safe from sewage. Through meticulous survey and restoration, combined with careful monitoring, the Sphinx is now in stable condition. We restored the Sphinx. We saved the Sphinx. But the Sphinx is the oldest patient in the world. If you have a patient that old, you need to be beside this patient all the time, because anything can happen. Zahi Hawass and his team will continue to keep a close watch on this ancient patient, preserving the Great Sphinx for the future.